Hi everyone, welcome to this month's segment of Ashley Smith Properties. Uh, for this month, I'm going to be discussing what has been happening in the fall market and how there are many indicators that are showing we are getting back to a healthy market. Um, I'm also going to be diving in a little bit to how mortgage rates are changing, so stay tuned until the end for that. So, let's start with the inventory levels. Right now we are sitting at 2.98 months worth of inventory, which rose a little bit from last month. In actual numbers, this is about 19,000 new listings that we are seeing for the month of September, which just passed. This is great just because it means that we are getting back to healthy levels of inventory so that people can have more condos and homes to choose from and they're not as stressed out during the process. Fewer bidding wars across the GTA, less places going the same day they're up great for a lot of people. The only place that we're not seeing this um, change especially hit is downtown Toronto condos, which as many of you know, um, has seen tremendous increase over the past year in popularity. We're seeing about a 28% increase in year over year um, appreciation on these condos, which is a huge amount for anyone who looks into the um, Toronto real estate market as a healthy investment. Usually what we see is about a 6% increase year over year, sometimes more, usually not less. So this is a great number if you're ever considering buying an investment property, downtown Toronto condos is definitely the place to go. On another note, in terms of mortgage changes, we were told a couple weeks ago that the National Bank of Canada would on October 25th announce the mortgage rate increase. So this just basically means that it's going to go up another couple points and we will find out about what this means on October 25th. More pressing than this uh, was an announcement made today which basically stated that if you are purchasing in January 2018 or any time thereafter, there are new mortgage rules implemented. Um, this will affect many first-time buyers as the regulations for your pre-approval will change drastically. Usually they will look at the bank's mortgage rates and test you based off that to see whether or not you can afford to buy a home. In the coming year, they will be looking at the bank's rate plus an extra 2%. Um, this will disallow a lot of buyers to qualify. They also will be taking into account that even if you are over the 20% mark where you don't need to be insured, they will still be stress testing you on that. This will severely impact a lot of first time home buyers and a lot of people looking to buy downtown, um, which is likely being put in place to slow down the condo market. As I stated earlier, it's still been going at full swing over the last couple of months to a year now. So they are likely looking to improve millennials' debt and uh, really put in some regulations so that their intentions to buy won't be so strong and so that they can focus on debt elsewhere. The implementation of this new rule could depress price growth by about 5 to 10 percent, which the National Bank is looking as a positive to help price growth in the future and continue to make Toronto home buying a sustainable and profitable growth within Canada. Uh, if you have any further questions about any of this, please feel free to contact me at ashley.smith at royalapage.ca. I'd be happy to put you in touch with my mortgage broker who can answer any of these questions. And I look forward to speaking with you all in a month from now. Thanks, guys.